So we give uh, Ms. Gujari a, a, a big hand. Malacca. Wonderful, everybody has been to 
So at that time, Malacca was controlled by the Portuguese. Okay? Then a hundred years after that, the Portuguese left and who came? The Dutch came. They weren't playing football, but they came to Malacca and they controlled Malacca. Then the Dutch went away and who came? The British. And the British not only controlled Malacca, they controlled the whole of Malaya. And not only did they control Malaya, do you know that they controlled America? Oh, did you know that? Yes! The British controlled America. And they controlled India, and they controlled Sri Lanka, and they controlled Burma. Almost half the world, they controlled Africa. Hang on, I'll answer your question in a moment. So, you know why they came to Malaya? Because they wanted to do business and they wanted to make a bit of money. Now, all your parents work, right? So, the British also worked for their own country, but they came to our country and they used our country to make money for their country. So, that was why we were controlled by the British. And they did something really very exciting. I don't know whether you guys know what this is. This is not an acorn. Do you know what the British did in Malaya? Okay, how many of you may know where Brazil is? Wait, now what is Brazil famous for? Football. Right. But it's also famous for this. Do you know what this is? This is the rubber seed. Do you know that once upon a time, Malaysia used to make a lot of rubber and they used to export it and they made a lot of money from rubber. Do you know that? Once upon a time, Malaya had rubber and tin and we were world famous because we sent our tin and our rubber everywhere. But you know what? Our rubber seeds came from Brazil. So the British went to Brazil. This is about a hundred seeds. I'm going to pass it around and you can just touch it and feel it. So this is a hundred seeds. The British, one man called Henry Wicker, took 70,000 seeds. And he took them to England. And he grew them. And he brought those rubber plants and he planted them in Malaysia. Do you know why? Does anyone know why they grew rubber? Perhaps we'll look at the rubber, uh, look look at the rubber seeds later. later. Would you want to like to Okay, let's come back to the story. Do all of you have cars? How does your car run? Tutankhamun was born in Malacca, 
and took and, and uh, Tuku was born in Alaska. He was born in a palace because he was the son of a sultan. And guess what? Where was Tuku Abdurrahman's mother from? Does anyone know? Where? No, she was from Thailand. So, so Tuku Abdurrahman could speak Malay, English, and he could also speak Siamese because his mother was Siamese. He actually went to school in Thailand for a while. Now why I'm telling you this story is, as Malaysian children, you have founding fathers from all three races. You have a Malay founding father, you have a Chinese founding father, and you had an Indian founding father. And the reason why they wanted Merdeka was because they knew one day Malaysia would be filled with children like you who must have their own home. Because Kukka Abdurrahman was a prince, but he did not have his own country. Malaya was run by the British. To Tan Chenglok, his family came from China in 1771. That was a very long time ago, right? And my grandfather came from India when he was 16 years old in 1896. Okay? He was born in a small village in India, but he had very, very, very big dreams, just like other people who came to this country, they knew that if they came to this country, they could make their dreams come true. So they came here and they settled here, but this country was ruled by the British. So what they wanted to do was to make this country free so that all of you could have your own home. Now do all of you live in your own homes? Yes. Can you imagine if somebody comes into your house, and says to you, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to do this, you have to do that, because this is not your home. So that's what the British did and everybody else did. They made us feel as if this was not our home. They would tell us what to do. So the founding fathers went and spoke to the British and they got them to agree to give us Mandeka or to give us independence so that we could get back our own home and so that all of you young children can have your own passports, can have your own homes where you can live safely and grow to become adults. Now yours is an internet generation. Do you all know how to play the internet? Yes. You know, when I was your age, there was no internet, there was no colored TV, there was only black and white TV. We only got colored TV when I was in form six. But today, you have the internet and you can learn, do business and work through the internet. But you can do this in a very safe way because you are all citizens of this wonderful country called Malaysia. So, Mr. Gavin, I think he's one of your parents, has told me that I've run out of time. But basically what I want you to take away today is, just as my grandfather came to this country, and my father was a founding father, I would like all of you to go back and speak to your grandparents and say, where are you from? Where were you born? Why did you come here? Because you know what? Malaysia is not just about my story, it's about every one of your story. Because all of you are Malaysians, we all came here from somewhere else, but we all settled here and made this our home. So young Malaysians, I hope that you'll go back and do your homework and speak to your parents and your grandparents. I hope that you will always remember that this is your country, you can study anywhere, you can work anywhere, but this is your home, okay? Thank you so much for being such a good audience and have a lovely day. Happy birthday, Pa! Yes, first of all, now, can we give Ms. Kucheri a very, very big hand again? Thank you very much. that uh, uh, as, as, uh, as Ms. Gunjari actually took the time